Welcome back to the lab. Leo Laporte here. This is one for programmers. We're doing a high-end show today. We did Compressor earlier. Now we're going to do Programmers. Brian LaRue is back. He's a software architect at Nitobi. Good old days. He used all, you know, all the, all the buzzword compliant programming languages like C++. But now he's seen the light. He's a Ruby on Rails kind of guy. It's very true. Good yes. to have you back. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thanks, Leo. So uh, let's recap. We've talked about Ruby on Rails before. Let's recap. What is Ruby on Rails? Ruby on Rails is a web framework. Um, it's uh, Rails is built on top of Ruby. Ruby's a programming language, and uh, the idea about Ruby on Rails is simplicity. It's making life easier for developers. So, if you're a programmer who is creating a website and a, a website, that, a web application that does something, you would use uh, Ruby as your programming language, and you use Rails as a way to get started fast. That's right. Yeah. To kind of get it all, get it all be started out, and then it makes it very easy to modify it and update it. And you know, uh, one of the things they talk about, which is really cool, is you can have your clients sitting there and make changes on the fly while the thing is running. Totally. And, and yeah. quick turnaround time, which is really neat. And that was the idea uh, about having uh, quick iterations and allowing people to build sites um, with their client uh, right. in a fast turnaround kind of environment because the web, everything changes so quickly. Yeah. And so you want to be agile to that change. The agile web, that's what that's this right. is all about. In fact, yeah. it was created by 37 Signals. They wrote the, the book, literally wrote the book on this subject. Yep, they Simplicity did. and getting stuff done fast. Yeah. So now Rails is maturing. Yeah. Version 2 is out. Version 2. It's actually been around for five years now. Oh, um, that's great. Yeah, and uh, so version 2 is released just this Christmas. I had no idea it was that old. Wow. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Um, it's uh, only been in version 2 for a couple months now. It was kind of a Christmas present to developers. Um, is it still David uh, Hanemeyer Hansen who wrote it? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So he was the original creator of this. That's right. Um, with contributions from thousands of people. Of course, around the it's world. an open source project, right? Yeah. 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 So, but he's still leading the leading the charge. He's still leading the charge, and uh, so with Rails two, there's all kinds of new and exciting yeah. things. What are, what are uh, our advantages? Um, well, Rails two builds on Rails one, and uh, interestingly, by building on it, they removed a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> they took out a whole bunch of code and they made it simpler. So, really? um, less code. Um, but it does as much or more? It does as much and yeah. more, um, yeah. but with less code. And so less code has a whole bunch of advantages. So here's um, an example. We have some code here. Here's some, an example of uh, what we call migration, which lets us uh, do some database uh, magic. So this um, is what you'd have to write as the programmer. As a programmer, you'd be writing all this code. All right. And that was a before, and this is the after. It's a subtle change, but it's a lot less code and a lot less thinking for the user. So. Or for the developer. Do you find that web frameworks like this, uh, and there are many, uh, confine you at all? I mean, do you feel like, well, I have to do it this way because that's the Ruby way? Yeah, or the I mean, Rails way? There, there are constraints, and those constraints are what uh, the power is in Ruby. So uh, we accept that um, we have to do things in a certain methodology. We can uh, make uh, expectations on how things work. Right. Um, so right. by um, pluralizing, for example, uh, posts, we know there's going to be um, a database uh, table called posts, and will be an object called post. So instead so of it's, it's a little so by creating something called post, that's very yeah. interesting. By creating yeah. something called posts plural, yeah. you automatically get a database called posts and yeah. an object called post. Right. Just so, it happens automatically. Yes, yeah, so these are the constraints that you end up with. Um, but yeah, I can see the advantage to that. There's huge advantages. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so when you say faster, it's faster for the programmer, but is Rails now operating faster? Is it more? Rails is also operating That's faster. Good. And so yeah. uh, less code means there's less code to write. Um, there's less code to debug. Right. There's less code to fix. More reliable is it's important. More reliable. And it's yeah. easier to change when there's less code, too. Um, right. So another thing that they've done is they've built in uh, SQLite support, which comes with OSX. So there's no database setup anymore. That's nice. Just rolling immediately. Wow, that's wow. great. Now, Just somebody faster. said Leopard was going to include Rails. I think that they did. It does. It does? It does. It's in there? Yep. 1.0, though, not 2.0? Um, or 1.6 1. 1. 1, or whatever. 2, 3, yeah. or something like that, but yeah. it's really easy to upgrade. It just takes a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's less code. Um, there's also a whole bunch of caching built in now. And so caching, long story short, is uh, not making extra trips back to the database right. or back to the server. Uh, an example is Twitter, which is written in Ruby on Rails. And it has a lot of transactions going on all the time. Yes. The, 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 the more you can cache that stuff, That's right. the faster it's going to be. If you have to make a database query for every bit of information, it's going to really kill your performance. Yeah. Might have some downtime. Might. <laughs> That's an inside joke. We it, could happen. it could happen. It could happen. So yeah, query cache. Uh, asset caching, so that means it'll um, take like, images and things. Images, and your JavaScript.
JavaScript, your CSS files, it'll all compress it down and it'll send it back down the pipe as one cache That's cool. bit, which is really cool. And uh, asset servers, which is something I'm sure Twitter's already doing. And that means uh, the web browser can create a whole bunch of connections mm -hmm. um, if they're in different domains. But it can only create two to the same domain. And so there's a little bit of trickery inside of uh, Rails 2 that will allow you to create a whole bunch of requests but send it back to one I have domain. no idea what you're talking about, but I'm sure somebody does. And Makes it, things it, faster. It's a good thing. <laughs> Makes things faster. Now, um, scaffolding is kind of a neat idea. Scaffolding is when you first create your Ruby on Rails project, you just type a few words and it builds yes. kind of the, 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 the structure of the whole thing, creates the folders, creates the files. It's kind of, it's kind of magic. It throws everything up for you, so yeah. you're, you're moving a lot quicker. Um, yeah. You don't have to build all this stuff over and over again, so it takes all the repetitive uh, work out of doing um, your development. And so that scaffolding, hasn't changed, I hope. They, we need that. Scaffolding's changed a lot. So scaffolding oh, was almost a, a dirty word in Rails 1. It started to be um, associated with a bad coding practice. And uh, it, it generated a whole bunch of code. And so we can take a look uh, over here at um, an example of some older scaffolding. And so this is... Uh, this is all generated by Rails? It uh, created code by Rails? Yeah. And so um, now this isn't very much code, but by, whoops, by today's standards in uh, Rails, this would be considered a lot of code and a lot of unnecessary code. Really? Okay. Um, it's also not really the, the prettiest code. I don't know if we can see down there. So you've got different methods, destroy, update, create, show. And then you've got to do uh, up here this verify. And that'll verify, uh, you know, if it's a post, you can only destroy, create, update, and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, so Rails 2 has improved this a lot, and uh, we can take a look back at my computer. And so before it was verbose, the forms were ugly, and it was just considered bad form. Rails 2, it's actually considered good form. Um, to In use. the sense that the code it generates is cleaner, uh, more elegant? More elegant and uh, more capable. And so this is an example of some Rails 2 code. I'm just going to have to take your word for it because <laughs> it looks exactly the same to me. All right, but I, but it, I believe it, you. It's it, more elegant. It looks closer, and what it does out of the box is uh, this RESTful stuff. And so RESTful means it's aware of what kind of request. So to show you uh, live what it looks like, if we look here, I've just set this up. I've got this post. We want to create a new post. This is a Ruby on Rails yeah. application running, obviously not with a, a lot of styling. Yeah, so this is what mm -hmm. scaffolding looks like. So it's kind of ugly. This is what you get when you first run it. Yeah. Okay. But it leaves you uh, leaves it up to you to do what you want. So this isn't too groundbreaking here. This is just post. This is where the RESTful stuff gets interesting. We can generate XML with uh -huh. the same code that we generated the HTML. And so we've just halved our development time for providing uh, web APIs. So Which is if you're really a developer exciting. and you're developing something for the end user that's text on the screen, you also have a back end coming along that makes it so much easier for other computers yes. to access the data that you're generating. Yes, and uh, sort of uh, the way the future of the web is working, we're getting all these small pieces loosely joined right, and right. web applications are talking to each other, and so this is going to make the developer's life a lot easier. For Don't be afraid. It's okay for the machines to talk to one another. They're not planning an overthrow or world domination. We hope. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> no, it's good because that's that's where you get syndication, you get RSS feeds, you get all sorts yes. of interaction that's really powerful, really yes. exciting. Um, so Ruby on Rails too. So it's easy to upgrade. Is it a gem uh, that you can just run to, to upgrade it, or you got it? Okay. Uh, Pseudo gem update Rails. Um, Simple and as that. You're on Ruby on Rails too. That's really cool. Yeah. Very exciting. Uh, then you have to get in a whole new book and learn everything anew. But that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's a, well, it's also on the web. There's lots of blogs. Programmers and, like that. Yeah. They like to uh, update their skills. Are you writing in Rails now entirely, pretty much? Um, yeah, that's, that's one neat. of the key frameworks we're using. We're keeping a close eye on a couple other ones in the Ruby world right now. There's yeah. another called Merb, which is really interesting. Um, frameworks are where it's at, though. Even in Python and Perl now. Django and Python Django, is really yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 So it's really exciting. Yeah. It makes it much easier to program as it should be. In fact, this was kind of always what you know everybody said is at some point the computer is going to write a lot of the code and programmers can focus on a higher level and that's exactly what we're seeing yeah. right now. Just computer started. can do the boring stuff. Yeah. Let's do the interesting stuff. Brian LaRue is a software architect at Nitobi. Uh, he's been talking about the latest Ruby on Rails. He also has a blog, which I didn't realize. What's the name of your blog? West Coast Logic. So you talk about com. this kind of stuff there too if you're, people are programmers? Well, it's a tumble log, so I send oh, everything fun. down there. All sorts yeah. of stuff. WestCoastLogic.com. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Great. Talk cool. to you again. Thanks, Good to see you.